How does a dialysis machine filter waste products from the blood? A dialysis machine is a medical device used to filter waste products and excess fluids from the blood when the kidneys are unable to perform this function adequately. This process is called hemodialysis. Here is an in-depth explanation of how a dialysis machine works. Blood access, to initiate the dialysis process, the patient's blood needs to be accessed. This is done through an access site, which can be a fistula, graft, or catheter. A fistula is created surgically by connecting an artery and a vein, allowing for increased blood flow. A graft is a synthetic tube that connects an artery and a vein. A catheter is a flexible tube inserted into a large vein, usually in the neck or chest. Blood pump, once the access site is established, the dialysis machine uses a blood pump to draw blood from the patient's body into the machine. The blood pump creates negative pressure, pulling the blood through the tubing system. Blood tubing, the blood passes through a series of sterile tubes in the dialysis machine. These tubes are made of biocompatible materials to prevent clotting and minimize the risk of infection. Dialyzer, the key component of a dialysis machine is the dialyzer, also known as an artificial kidney. The dialyzer consists of thousands of tiny hollow fibers that act as a semi-permeable membrane. These fibers are divided into two compartments, the blood compartment and the dialysate compartment. Dialysate preparation, the dialysate is a special fluid that helps remove waste products and excess fluids from the blood. It is created by the dialysis machine through a process called dialysate preparation. The machine mixes water with concentrated dialysate solution, adjusting the composition according to the patient's specific needs. Diffusion and ultrafiltration, as the blood flows through the hollow fibers in the dialyzer, waste products, toxins, and excess fluids pass from the blood compartment to the dialysate compartment through a process called diffusion. Diffusion occurs due to the concentration gradient between the blood and the dialysate. Meanwhile, the dialysis machine also controls the removal of excess fluid from the blood through a process called ultrafiltration. The machine applies a negative pressure to the dialysate compartment, causing fluid to be drawn out of the blood compartment and into the dialysate compartment. Waste disposal, the dialysate, now containing waste products and excess fluid, is continuously discarded by the dialysis machine. Fresh dialysate is constantly supplied to maintain the appropriate concentration gradients for effective diffusion and ultrafiltration. Blood return after the blood has been filtered, it is returned to the patient's body. The clean blood passes through another set of tubing and back into the patient's bloodstream, typically through the same access site used for blood withdrawal. Throughout the dialysis process, the dialysis machine carefully monitors and adjusts various parameters, such as blood flow rate, dialysate flow rate, and pressure levels, to ensure safe and effective treatment. Regular monitoring of the patient's vital signs and frequent laboratory tests also help guide the treatment and make necessary adjustments. It is important to note that while dialysis can help manage kidney failure, it is not a cure. Dialysis is typically performed several times a week, and it is crucial for patients to follow their healthcare provider's recommendations and medications to manage their condition effectively. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.